power access strategies. The child we grow up, they say, Ah, you are like our great great grandfather. I want you to say, I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. You are like our great great, and you look like our great great grand. The same head. Do you know exactly what happened to that man? Do you know the life he lived? Why will you bring his resemblance into your body? Put it on the image that you don't know of today. God will release every image that you don't know of out of your body in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible said there was a man called Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus. The father was a nobody, and himself became a what? A nobody. Ancestral power. He follow a generational cause, a generational, a lineage that cannot be broken up. I don't know what your family have been through. I don't know what your great great grandfathers might have been through that is bringing some calamities into your life. But today the Bible declares if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all has become new. You are already in Christ. What affect your grandfathers can never affect you. What affect your great great grandmother can never affect you because you are a new man, a new body in Christ, a new creature in Christ. New thing will come out from you. If it affect your brothers, it can never affect you. If it affect your aunties, it can never affect you. If it affect your uncles, it can never affect you. If it affect your other generation, it can never affect you. For the Bible was said, no weapon form against me shall prosper. Sexual powers. There are some lineage. There is always untimely death. Untimely death at all times. No one has ever lived to the age of 60. He said that they died by accident and all their death is always mysterious. They slept, they couldn't wake up. They are in a accident, only them. If that has been your case, this week God will reverse it. Yeah. Tap your neighbor and say, I don't know what your case is, but your file is before the Almighty God. <laughs> this week God will visit your file. God will make the amendment that is good for you. That joy you have not seen before, you will see them this week. If you are hearing your neighbor say, I hear you, my friend. be delivered. There are some family, their mother find it very difficult even before she can conceive one. And there you see all her daughters going through the same problem. There are some family that the mother will see that and say, do you know how many miscarriages I have before I get you? In fact, I was lucky to have you. And yet you are here having the same issue. There are some family that ancestral demons have released a curse upon them that no one will ever stay in a marriage. And then you check it, the mother and the father, they are not living together. And then you see that same person moving from one relationship to the other. You try to cancel and say, now Miss Tata. Not be Miss Tata, not to make her enter. My mother is not even living with my father and she's happy. Who told you she's happy? She's not. There is no happy person being alone. The Bible says, What to him that is alone? Because when he fall, no one will help him to stand. Today, I break every ancestral spirit that I made you to remain alone or lonely in your home. But the reason of the anointed, everything that is coming in between you and your happiness, in between you and your breakthrough, in between you and your success, in between you and your freedom, today, I will be visit them by fire. Our sexual powers. There are some families that are going through unknown cause. Just because somebody cheated them. And then they place cause upon that family. And you, you know nothing about it. You are suffering a cause you never know anything about. 
What you don't know cannot kill you. Amen. Tell your neighbor and say, What you don't know can kill you. What you, don't know can kill you. I'm not hearing that voice. Tell another person, What you don't know can kill you. What you don't know can kill you. Talk to another person and say, What you don't know can kill you. What you don't know can never kill you. The place it caused on your grandfathers and is still following your generation. Cause that nobody will ever make it. Someone will just graduate and die. A young brother will just spring it up. A lot generous fish or shepherd there, those beauty that they were building, he bought one. And then they told him, Your mother is dead, come and bury it. He went home. Go to the washroom, let it come out. The guy's work is gone. And if you check the story of those families, whenever anyone is getting to the edge of breakthrough, they cut them off. My people, I want to tell you today, nobody will cut you off. I say nobody will cut you off. I stand in the gap. I join my spirit on your spirit. I say nobody will cut you off. For greater is he that is in you than he that be with them in the world. For Christ in you is the heart of glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you. At the age of success, they cut them off. I have an appointment. I got a job. I need to resume tomorrow. They cut them off. I will share a testimony with someone. I think Pastor Matthews will know it because they are all very close. The guy hailed from a place called Uruguay. Hello. Hi. You know that place? Hi. May the Lord deliver that land. Amen. The guy is a doctor. The Lord blessed him so much that he decided to build a hospital in that village. Building a hospital is to develop a place. Oh, yes. But there are some demons in a particular city that they don't like to progress. Every demon that is afraid of progress, your own will never be rejected. Amen. This week they will hear from us. I love what John Blue said. He said, People that destroy this tower, you have done your best, but you will hear from us. The devil has done his best, but he will hear from me this week. The devil will hear from me this week. If you can't go to heaven, I will go for your sake. I will come back with a positive result. Something must stop in your life. I will put a stop to certain things. I have a master. I will put a stop to certain foundations that have been laid in your life that is not supposed to be laid. I will put a stop to it. Everybody says stop. As I was telling you, he built a clinic and at the same time built his home. He has not even dedicated the home. They finished painting, put on the louvers, everything, just for him to move in the next week. They said, Now, bros, nobody has ever made any progress in this land. And what we did to others, the same thing we going to do to you. They cut off. They cut him off. No progress has ever come. People of God, the Bible said, if Jesus shall set you free, you are free indeed. Amen. The act that is backing you is not from outside, it's inside. It's people that knows you, somebody that knows you properly. He are setting you up in other places. But Jesus will stand up for you. I said, Jesus will stand up for you. Holy Ghost will stand up for you. The power of God will stand up for you. In the wish that gathering, God will stand up for you. In the word and spirit, God will stand up for you. In your happy plan, God will stand up for you. When he stand up for you, he will deliver you. He will set you free. He will give you a new day, a new beginning, a new joy, a new level, a new ability, a new any dimension, any glory, any opportunity. If you hear me, say I hear you. Jesus. 
our sexual powers. We are going to break them down. Hallelujah. You are going through of something you don't know. Others are making profit you don't know. You make money but you don't know.